Hey guys, so on Saturday, I released what I think was possibly my best We Scottish History video that I've done, but the problem was nobody saw it because Facebook doesn't like me sending folk to the other, you know, the famous uh, video sharing platform, right? So somebody tell me that if what you do is you do some Facebook posts and then only every now and again you slip in the thing to the other face, that, you, know, you know what I'm talking about, uh, then you'll get away with it. Uh, so I thought I'd tell you about uh, something that happened at the Battle of Bannockburn. And uh, because a lot of people, a lot of people you'll know that the Battle of Bannockburn was won because the English were demoralised, okay? And one of the reasons that's given for them being so uh, low in motivation was because the night before, uh, Sir Humphrey de Bowen had charged at Robert the Bruce, and Robert the Bruce had taken on the challenge, and he's just in a wee donkey, and he smashed it, killed the bird. The point is, the English were all a bit disappointed about the thing. Uh, now, I actually heard the story a different way. Uh, the way that I heard the story was that the English were approaching from the west, kind of Falkirk direction. And as they're coming up the hill, I don't know if you know the hill up, you know to, to Larbert Cross, right? Uh, well, there was a pub at Larbert Cross, a hotel, I think it might have been called the Red Lion. And uh, as they're coming up to that, out of the pub comes a wee Scottish guy, and he's pissed as a fart, and he starts shouting uh, homophobic abuse at Edward II, the King of England. Now, Edward was gay, right? Now, listen, things were different then. Now, the whole gay thing's quite... Scot Scotland was even named, actually, as the most LGBT-friendly country in Europe. Um, I don't think that was official. I think it was just a guy from San Francisco who had a really good night in Edinburgh once. But the point is, back in those medieval times, things were still all a bit UKP, right? So, the guy's shouting, you know, oh, you're both, you blah, 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 you big girl's blouse and all that kind of thing. And Edward, and Edward's right. And Humphrey de Bowen says, don't you worry, sire, I'll sort this out. And he tilts his lance and heads off in the direction of this wee Scottish guy. And of course the English army just continue on and leaving Humphrey de Bowen to deal with this guy. And uh, as they're approaching the Tor Wood, I don't know if you know the road, uh, as they're approaching the Tor Wood, de Bowen's never come back. And here out of the Tor Wood comes the wee Scottish guy. And the wee Scottish guy's going, get it up, you, eh? No, he was even a proper soldier. Warriors, you call yourself. You're just a big blah, blah. You're English, this, that. And the next thing you can, you, you, you get the idea. Well, Edward's absolutely furious at this, isn't he? Right, okay. So he decides, so he gets his ten best knights. And says, right, you go and chase. And they chase him into the tower. When he goes away running, right? And Edward and his army continue on. And they're approaching Plain. And now, I don't know if you've ever been to Plain. I've passed through Plain quite a few times, but I've never had the confidence to stop. Right? And that's saying something because they've got a chippy. The point is, they're arriving at Plain. They can see Plain in front of them. The Bohans no come back. The 10 best knights having to come back, they're starting to get a bit worried. They went, in the middle of the road in Plain, this wee Scottish guy's giving it large, giving it, yeah, English, you can't fight, you're just a shout it, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Edward loses it. And he gets, he calls out, a hundred, I call a hundred of my best nights, a hundred of my best nights. And the wee Scottish guy's going, a hundred of you. No chance, I'll take the lot of you, right, single-handed. And he gets all the hundred and they charge and tilt the lance, charge into plane, and the wee boy disappears, and the uh, hundred knights go into a plane, they disappear. Edward is like, he can't see what's happening, but he can, they can hear the clash of steel and screams and blood-curdling screams and all this. Fifteen minutes later, hurtling out of 
clean at the gallop comes a horse, nostrils flaring, eyes bulging, ears back, on a night covered in blood. He's not even stopping, he's just heading straight for England. But as he passes, he says to them, Go back, go back, go back, it's a trap, there's two of them! Now, I'm not saying that happened. I'm not saying it didn't happen. The only reason I tell you the story is in the hope that when I post my new video about Scottish history tomorrow, Wednesday, at 4 o'clock, Facebook will allow the link to go through. Or better still, why don't you go to my YouTube uh, uh, page, called, what do you call it, channel, uh, Scotland History Tours, click the subscription button, click the notification bell, and keep your eye out for it when it comes. Simple.